So let me get this straight. You were downloading a mod when you saw something called NeoForge, and you didn't quite know what that was, so you typed it into Google, and then you somehow wound up here? Oh, well then allow me to explain. Put simply, NeoForge is a fork of the original Forge. And for those who don't understand what that means, basically the NeoForge team is taking the current Forge code as a starting point, and then beginning their own separate development on top of that. I know, sounds confusing, right? But ultimately, this just means that Forge and NeoForge may start off as two very similar mod loaders, but as time moves on, they will start to differentiate more and more from each other. And although this technical info is neat and all, you are probably more interested in how this affects your actual game. Like what are the pros and cons between the two, and which one should you choose? Well, surprisingly enough, almost nothing is different. They both have the same features, the same pros and cons, and most importantly, Forge and NeoForge mods are both compatible and interchangeable as of today. However, that will not always be the case. NeoForge's development is headed in a direction where mods will have to be exclusively made for NeoForge, meaning that Forge mods will no longer be compatible with the NeoForge loader in the future, and vice versa as well, of course. You can think of this in a similar light as to how fabric mods are also incompatible with Forge, making you have to choose one or the other. What is interesting to note though is how this incompatibility between the two Forges was an intentional decision. You see, the NeoForge team is almost completely composed of former Forge team members. As it turns out, they decided to leave the Forge project and start their own new project due to some alleged mistreatment from the leader of the Forge project, known as Lex. And please allow me to disclaim that this information is coming from the NeoForge website as well as their Discord, both of which will be linked in the description. So despite being similar projects, one can now see why the NeoForge team would no longer want to associate with the original Forge team. Regardless, I don't think anyone expected that a few internal affairs would spawn the creation of a whole new mod loading platform either. And although none of this information currently means much to the average player, one day we will have to make the choice between Forge and NeoForge. And personally, my choice moving forward will most likely be with NeoForge. Not only do I believe that they have a convincing argument, but just look at the facts. The Forge team that you have always known and loved has moved to a different platform, everyone except for one person at least. However, those are just my two cents on the whole situation. And that is all I know about NeoForge right now, at least without going into too much drama. Once again, I highly recommend checking the description if you would like to gain a better understanding about the topic. Anyways, I hope this video helped inform you about NeoForge and the changes to come. Make sure to leave a like if you learned something new, and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more Minecraft videos like this. As always, I hope you have a good night, and see ya!